Hi again, my name is Martin, I'm with Scolaris and today we're gonna start making our timetable a bit more realistic. Last time I showed how to create a very basic timetable. Let's um, have a look at it just to refresh our memories. So here we are and uh, today we're going to give the kids some options as to what language um, they're going to study. So uh, last time uh, class group 1A had uh, three lessons of French and class group 1B had three lessons of German. But we're actually going to give the kids options to study either French or German or Japanese and they will be able to choose. So how do we do that? First, let's get rid of the lessons that we created last time. So I'm going to delete these uh, three French lessons. There we go. And I'm going to delete the three German lessons. Now for Japanese, we're going to need a new teacher. So let me just create a Haruki Murakami. Uh, we can see our HM code is already in use. So we'll just put HU instead. So we've got a Japanese teacher in place and I'm just going to add Japanese as a subject. And I've got a new badge. As you put in data into Scolaris, you earn badges. And the more badges you earn, the more experience you have. And the more experience you have, the cheaper uh, Scolaris gets for you because you get discounts. I'm not going to go into details right now because I want to concentrate on the option blocks. So let's create uh, the language option block, which will actually allow the students to choose. So this will be year one language. And I'm, I'm saying that we're going to be combining students from 1A and 1B. And we're going to give them options to study French or German or Japanese. Um, let's just save this. Got a new badge because I've created a, a new option block. And uh, let's create those lessons for the options. So I'm going to create three lessons of French with Pascal. I'm going to create three lessons of German with Meyer. And three lessons of Japanese with Murakami. And that's it really. So let's go to the timetable, see what happened. Uh, so you can see there are uh, empty slots where our old language lessons used to be. And there are some new language lessons here which haven't been scheduled yet. So I'm just going to click play again and we're going to see what happens. And we're done. So I'm going to save this and uh, what happened here? So Scolaris has scheduled these language lessons to the same time, which is kind of what we would expect. And you can see here that the group is 1B French and 1A French. And if I go to class group 1A, you'll be able to see that these language lessons are scheduled at the same time, um, which is what we would expect because they combine students from 1A and 1B, so they have to be at the same time. 
Um, we can see one more problem here. Uh, the Japanese is actually put into a gym, which is certainly not what we want. So let's go back and check the room gym. Our gym uh, accepts all subjects at the moment, but surely only physical education should be allowed in the gym. So I'm going to change that. And if I go to the timetable now, I will see that um, Scolaris has detected that the subject is not accepted by the room in, in which uh, it is placed. So uh, let's try to repair the timetable. Um, it's not going to be possible. The reason is we don't have a room into which Japanese can be placed. Um, there are three simultaneous lessons here, but if we go back to check our rooms, we only have one, two rooms which are kind of general, and two rooms for PE. So in order for our timetable to be 100% again, we'll need a new room. Go back to the timetable, and hopefully this will be enough to make it perfect again. And indeed, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you soon with uh, another tutorial for some other exciting Scolaris feature. Bye.